The evolution of the laser wallet O-rings started with our first application with the Acura MDX that we launched back in 2014. Using our patented ablation process, we evolved to a inner and an outer door ring, first of its kind, that will be used on the, the next generation RDX. Honda's goal was to deliver best-in-class panoramic roof on 100% of the RDX volume. The idea, the laser welded, hot stamp double door ring came from the collaboration of Magna, ArcelorMittal, and Honda. Honda came to us challenging us on more throughput, more complexity, and more efficiency, and that's kind of where the innovation really started. We went from a two-piece use a board door ring to these multi-piece, complicated, configured door rings. The door ring uh, in the 2014 MDX saved them three and a half kgs per uh, vehicle. Uh, fast forward to the RDX, we are saving them 14 kilograms per vehicle. So it's a significant weight down. In terms of crash worthiness, they are meeting the narrow offset requirement, which is a very tough load case. They're meeting all their safety requirements to be rated by IHS as a top safety pick plus, which is something that Honda always strives for. Honda definitely wanted safety. This is the first vehicle with this type of a door ring, but it's a dual door ring. So it's the outer and inner door ring uh, sandwiched together. So this is what Honda was asking for, and we deliver. Our proprietary simulation models enable us to translate the customer's performance, safety, and near net shape requirements into a part that we can manufacture. The models are so accurate that we're able to go directly to production tooling, avoiding costly prototypes and time. AMTB and Magna's innovative approach was key in achieving the performance targets for the RDX. The inner and outer door ring system is brand new technology and enabled us to apply our ultra-wide panoramic moonroof while delivering superior body rigidity, ride and handling, as well as safety performance. These door rings, both of them use our uh, Usubor 1500 product. The steel is produced in Calvert, Alabama, and from there it comes to our blankers in Maumee, Ohio. In Detroit, we ablate and then weld the blanks to make the door rings. From that point on, the door rings are shipped to Magna in Bowling Green, Ohio, where they are hard stamped and then laser trimmed to make a sub-assembly that is then shipped to their Honda East Liberty plant in Ohio. Magna and AMTB worked together to come up with the process. One of the big things that we looked at was trying to improve on the ablation process and we came up with continuous ablation. We are five times faster in terms of our ablation welding capability. One uh, big pivotal point in this project was being able to commonize the tooling. We worked on a concept that allowed us to incorporate the inner and the outer on one magnetic weld fixture that allowed us not to have to do a changeover. One of the other large challenges was there was a strong push for near net shape to achieve a very tight total stack up tolerance on the final assembly. We added the use of pop-up pins inside the weld fixture. We were able to hold very tight tolerances, allowing them to minimize the amount of laser cutting that they have to do. For us now, we're looking at parts that are even more complex. The other level of the scalability is how do we scale this technology at other plants and globally. RDX is a prime example and actually the first time that we have scaled a solution into two different markets. Our sister plant in China is making the exact same parts using the same process for production of the Acura RDX in China. This is the first time one company being able to supply with a global footprint parts for a globally produced vehicle. Globally identical tooling and processes allowed us to train the China management team in the United States prior to the China facility being completed. The RDX demonstrates a step forward, not incrementally, not evolutionary, but revolutionary.